Phantom or the FTM token is on a massive run yet again. Did I see this coming? No, I did not. I would argue it was pretty much impossible to see this coming and it might even be impossible to make a useful price prediction. Let me show you why. This channel has a long history with Phantom. It pretty much grew together with Phantom. And yes, not all the videos that I recently published were that optimistic. But then we are seeing things like this. We are up 28% today, 70% this week, and we almost doubled in a single month. To determine where the price might be going, we have to look at demand versus supply. Let's start off with the easier side of the equation, the supply. This is Phantom's long-term supply chart according to Messari.io. And yes, we did see a lot of token inflation in the past. We're currently at 2.8 billion. And that also matches the circulating supply number on CoinMarketCap. There won't be too much inflation going forward anymore. That's exactly what you want, right? You don't want the supply to expand, potentially depressing the price, seeing all those vesting unlocks where early investors, early backers can then dump on retail. You want to see that most of that has already happened and that the price potentially has bottomed. Now we are not yet at 100% according to CoinMarketCap. According to token.unlocks.app though, we are. There's no more token inflation since beginning of this year, apparently. All of the block rewards have been given out team and founders got paid advisors got paid in the end it doesn't even matter that much who's exactly right here the token inflation is definitely not going to be a problem going forward now when the supply side is okay what about demand let's first look at on-chain demand as in how much is the phantom blockchain actually being used is there potentially an increase in the usage that could warrant a price increase as well here is the number of daily transactions for phantom long term and yes we did have our spikes overall it's not necessarily a rising trend unfortunately here's the number of daily ERC20 token transfers. Also, some spikes here and there, also not necessarily growing. Here's the average transaction fee chart. Very interesting how this is pretty much zero when there is little usage, then massively spikes up when Phantom is bottlenecked and now is relatively low. And here's the number of unique addresses. That number, of course, is not shrinking. It can only go up, but have a look at the slope of this graph. It's not growing as quickly as in the past. Now, those kind of numbers aren't pretty, but they aren't terrible either. Since the supply isn't growing, if the demand isn't growing either, then the price could simply just be stable to a degree. But here's something else I don't like. This is the total value locked on the Phantom blockchain long term. And we used to have almost 8 billion dollars locked in phantom that then crashed with the crypto winter but it also never really recovered this is now measured in us dollars we can zoom in a little bit and this might be interpreted as a bit of recovery but have a look at the same chart measured in phantom tokens and then even that recovery doesn't exist so the price of phantom went up by 91 percent in the last month Let's have a look at the main DeFi protocols on the blockchain. Did they grow more than that? As in, did they generate some adoption with this price rally? Because if all of the recent total value locked increase is just because of Phantom going up in price, then we don't see more usage. We don't see more demand. So 91, 96%, something like this is our threshold. We need to see the total value locked on the DeFi protocols growing faster than that in the last month. So let's have a look at this again on DeFi Llama. The change in the last month here on the right, the largest DeFi protocol grew by 70%, 68, Beethoven X did outgrow, but then the next ones, Equalizer, WeGoSwap, SpiritSwap, they all didn't grow as much. But yes, there is one outlier, but really it doesn't seem that this price increase is triggered by on-chain demand, by DeFi protocol demand. Are there maybe interesting news that we are missing? I couldn't find anything to be honest. Here is the Twitter by the Phantom Foundation. And yes, of course, it's not dead. There's still something happening here. There are still small events happening in, I believe, a co-working space. This was over here in Denver. And a few people had some discussions here. Really, what I think is going on here is manipulation by the centralized exchanges. Very few people still touch Phantom because of the multi-chain hack, right? A lot of assets that were bridged over to Phantom, they got drained. The backing got drained because of multi-chain. 
chain. And so the current price increases might be due to manipulation. Look at this, most trading volume happens on Binance. It doesn't happen on chain. And then we've also got our perpetuals again with Binance and Bybit playing 1.1 billion together in the last 24 hour trading volume. The market cap is 1.9 billion. So we are not yet at maniac levels of manipulation. Usually we'd see a multiple of the market cap being traded in 24 hours if we are at peak manipulation. But it seems like somebody is trying to build a pump and dump here. How long will this further pump? I don't know, but I'm pretty certain that at some point it will dump. If it's your first time here, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It helps the channel grow. If you've got Telegram, feel free to join us. Link is down below.